Welcome back Team Dino and if this is your first time here, my name is Tim and this is the Tim O Show where we show you the good, the bad and the ugly of our side hustles. So make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you on the other side. Welcome back guys. So if this is your first time here, my name is Tim and today we're going to go check on my claw machine. If you're ever wondering how much a claw machine makes, I'm going to show you how much mine makes today. Um, it's not in the best location. I got it in a small uh, market here in my town. And um, I haven't checked on it in about three weeks. So we're gonna go check on it and see how it's doing. All right, let's go. So before we get to the location, I wanted to take a second and stop and say thank you guys for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping scrolling and um, I hope I don't let you down. So yeah guys, like as I said earlier, um, it's been a while since I've actually checked on this location. Uh, I left the set, you know, I was getting kind of discouraged because during the summertime, it did really well. Like, uh, it did really well. But there was a short period of time there where like, it wasn't doing that great. And I think it's because mostly the kids were back at school, but um, it's been almost a month. So I'm gonna come check on it today and hopefully it does well. Unfortunately, I can't really record a whole lot because they always have music playing in there. So depending on who's working, I might be able to turn the music down and you know, talk at you guys while I'm collecting off the claw machine. But if not, it's gonna be a time lapse. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we're almost there, let's go. All right guys, so at this location, now this is my very first claw machine that I bought and I got it for 150 bucks. Now I know that is insanely cheap for that claw machine and it actually had a bunch of those, um, I think they call them spiky balls or pokey balls. But since then I've been adding plush slowly. Now I bought the machine for 150 bucks used and the thing works great. You know, it has some um, cosmetic issues, I guess you could say. And I got a little um, oaky rig, an oaky rig lock there, but it totally gets the job done. Um, anyhow, before I place it at like a restaurant, like a Mexican restaurant or some kind of an eatery where people are hanging around waiting for a table, uh, I gotta get it cleaned up. So I need to order the marquee for the top because it's actually missing the R key on the top. And then the actual console needs to be cleaned up. Somebody had tried to like, do a small repair to it, like uh, maybe attempted refurbishing it, but they didn't do a very good job. They used like spray paint, but they didn't really clean it or sand it. So that's something that needs to be addressed. And I know I got a lot of my friends telling me, dude, you gotta get licensed plush. Now, I know I really wanna get the licensed plush, but it's so expensive. Um, I have a couple licensed plush in there that I've just paid for. And the thing is, it's expensive. To get the licensed plush, you're looking at anywhere from three to $400. And I'm just slowly trying to build up. So maybe after this collection, I can go ahead and put some money down to get some good licensed plush. But in the meantime, I've just been buying uh, cheap plush. Um, I found some a supplier to buy cheap plush for a dollar a piece and I throw it in the machine and I mean so far I think it's I think it's doing okay so I'm, I'm pretty excited but as soon as I am able to order the new marquee the new graphics for the machine um, order a proper lock for it then I'll be able to place it at like a, um, a high a high traffic location because this this place isn't bad oh there's a I don't know if I pulled that ball out there's like a flat ball right there I need to pull that sucker out that's okay I'll have to make another trip here pretty soon to pull that out but you can see I got some pillows a couple um, that's a licensed uh, 49er bear a licensed uh, Disney character a licensed Fortnite stuff so I mean I do have some some licensed stuff inside of there but at this point I gotta I gotta mix and match it because I haven't quite made all my money back on the initial purchase and um, or may, actually I have to check the book I think after this collection I will be completely paid off on the claw so then from here I'll be able to order some um, some more attractive plush you know to to give the perceived value of the machine so people want to play so people want to put their money in and then this location has served me pretty good though it is just a small like liquor store slash a market in in my neighborhood well it's like not in my neighborhood but in my city uh, rather so you can see here that um i'm just replacing small christmas themed stuff i know it's thanksgiving you guys don't beat me up too bad in the comments but christmas is coming up so i like to set them up i got a couple fortnite uh, toys in there and a couple minecraft toys which I had a bunch more and those went pretty quickly. I put a little bit of some uh, sweet tart, like a uh, sweet tart candy canes. So I don't always show this part, but you know, I, I want to stress how important it is to have clean machines, especially when you have a claw machine. Cause you know what happens is you get those kids around and then they're putting their face up against it, trying to see like, oh, you know, w w what's the best way to get the prize. And, and I've seen it and it's fine. You know, that, that's totally expected, which is always why when I bring in my backpack, I always make sure to bring uh some uh, glass cleaner, you know, glass cleaner. I always bring rags, clean rags with me. So we're locking her up. I think she's looking good. 
I'm pretty satisfied with this collection. Now, like I said, it's it's been under a month, but over three weeks. I, I'm not exactly sure. I probably should have checked my books before I <laughs> did this voiceover, but yeah, guys, I think it's doing pretty good. So we'll just we'll just have to see. Dang, she's pretty. All right, man, totally stoked about that. Oh, geez, damn, backpack's heavy. Heavier than most collections off this location. So, all right, let's get home and count it up. Let's go. All right, guys, hey, if you guys are still here, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new here and you haven't already, consider subscribing because I post videos like this two to three times a week and make sure to click the little tiny bell so you turn notifications on so you don't miss a video. If you guys are interested in starting a vending machine business and that's what brought you to this video, then it's your lucky day because in my description section below this video, I've compiled a list of all of the best vending machine channels and everyone that has been vending for years and years and they have tons of experience. So if you wanna start and you need help, Go watch those channels. There's tons of information down there. And also, if you're looking at starting a vending machine business on a budget, I have a link also in the description below. It's on the top link. So click that. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Zelda, drop the ball. Drop it. Good girl. Come on. No. No. Drop it. Good girl. Come on. Come on.